Hey guys, what's up? How are we doing? Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are talking about a newest NARS powder. This is called their Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder and this is the cardboard packaging it comes in. The actual powder looks like this. It is quite pretty. I like it. Um, it is very slim. It has that soft you know, very, very nice. Um, I got the shade Creek. This is what Creek looks like. Um, it has 0 0.31 ounces of product. We get a 24 month shelf life on the powder. This is shade Creek. The shades, I think they're very, I don't know, they looked a little funny on the pictures. Like I couldn't, I couldn't decide my shade and I'm so glad I messaged my girl Yadi here. She's in YouTube. I'll link her channel. I know, I know she bought it too and she tried it too. Thank you, Yadi. You saved my life and you saved the video because she told me, well, I got Creek and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get Creek because her and I are very similar skin complexion and this was totally my shade. I love that. Uh, it comes into a shade. It retails for um, 46 Canadian dollars. Uh, this is a pressed powder formula with a natural finish, a matte finish. So natural and matte. Uh, it is best for oily skin types. It is long wearing and it is good for acne blemish complexions, which that's me. Uh, it is a multi-purpose skin perfecting powder that blurs imperfections, smooths the look of skin, and sets makeup for up to 24 hours. The coverage is medium, and the finish is meant to be matte. It has cocoa butter, it has niacinamide, and it has some oil controlling technology that is going to make it extra long wearing. I'm going to show you what this powder, like how it applies and everything. I already wore it yesterday the whole day, so I'm here to give you my review on the product. So let's go and move on to the application and then we'll come back for some comparisons and some final thoughts. Okay, let's go ahead and apply it. As you can see, I have a very glowy base. I applied the NARS the light reflecting foundation and underneath my eyes, I have the Pat McGrath concealer so this is our base i'm gonna bring you a little closer so i'm gonna take this wayne gas o2 brush and let's go ahead and set i'm gonna look up the brush picks up quite a bit of product i must say it's a very very soft powder so it picks up a lot and I feel like it'll give you some coverage um, if that's what you're looking for in a setting powder, which I'm not really mad about. We'll, I'll show you what half of my face looks like all set. Let's apply a little bit more here. Here you go, very, very close up. No powder, powder. You can see that that foundation still picks through the powder. So even though it's a very, very much full coverage kind of powder, it's letting that foundation shine through, which I love. Uh, it looks very, very pretty and natural. Let's do even out our face. Right here, when I have pores, it just looks so, so smoothing and even. Like, I love how blurring this powder makes my complexion. Like, I really hope the camera is doing it justice. And again, I just love that even though it is a very pigmented and, you know, mattifying powder, it's letting that foundation seep through and look very pretty. So let me just finish off my uh, makeup and I'll be right back. Hey friends, so I'm back and my makeup is all done and I love the way like this powder just sits on my skin. I feel like it's very, very blurring and pretty. It really conceals and blurs, you know, my pores. It doesn't really emphasize my active uh, blemishes and pimples uh, it just looks very pretty it looks like skin um, I thought that it was gonna be a little heavy by swatching it because it is very pigmented like when you touch it 
you pick up a lot. The brush picks up a lot. Uh, but as you swatch it, you're able to really blend it out and get just the finest, you know, the finest blur um, on your complexion. Like, I wish you could see this in person, but it really comes to nothing. Like something, a powder that reminds me like this powder reminds me a little bit of the Pat McGrath. So if you've touched the Pat McGrath, it is very soft as well. It is not as pigmented. It, it pads is a little bit more natural. It blurs a little bit more. Um, but they're very, very similar to the top. Another powder that is quite popular and I wanted to mention was the one by Charlotte. I do own that one. It is actually upstairs, but I wanted to just share my quick thoughts about it and the differences. I feel like Charlotte's is, um, you know, very similar to Touch. It's extremely, extremely soft as well, but like her powder and I don't really get along when it comes to my under eyes. I don't really like it. I don't like how that powder sits on my under eyes. I feel like it accentuates everything. I like it for like the face, you know, for this area. I would like tap it in those areas and it looks pretty, but for all over my face, I don't think that's a powder that I like. Another quick comparison is the Press Powder by Kozas, which is also a talc free option. I love that one too, but it's very, very natural. It's pretty much undetectable. That powder again is upstairs because I use it in my everyday makeup. And I really like the Kosas powder. The cloud baked powder is beautiful. But that one I feel like it doesn't control any oils whatsoever. So if you're dry, I feel like that's the best option. If you are combination or oily, I think this one is for you. If you thought the Kosas didn't control any oils at all, then this is it. That's how I feel about the Kosas. I love it, but sometimes I, I wish that it controlled a little bit of oil, but it doesn't. And this is one that I'm very, very surprised that I can use all over my face. Like my under eyes just, just look and feel very, very soft and blurred out. I love it. I am loving this powder. Today's the third day that I wear it and... I, I'm just here to tell you that it is such a good powder. I love that it's talk free. If I didn't mention that in the description, I told you all that I was looking for a talk free option. I am done with the pore clogging powders. I don't want any more of those in my makeup collection. I'm slowly but surely gonna start to declutter those because I feel like um, if I'm dealing with this acne, I cannot put any, you know, pore clogging things onto my acne. So this is going to be safe to use for me. And it's the same story with the foundation. Like the light reflecting uh, foundation is also one that is safe for acne prone skin. It doesn't really clog your pores. So thank you NARS for these good products. They do uh, act beautifully together. I wore these the whole day yesterday. I'm gonna show you a little clip here in my washroom before I took off my makeup. Hello you guys, so it's been eight hours since I applied this makeup. I am wearing it, the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, which is very glowy by NARS. I love that foundation. Um, but when I'm having dryness around my mouth area, it shows up no matter which foundation, even that one that I love so much. So I do see, and you can see too, that it's worn out, you know, around here. And the powder too is like a little creepy. You can see that, right? But if you ignore this, the rest of my face looks very, very nice. Like I have some shine coming through on my T-zone as expected after eight hours of wear. I get oily, but not extremely oily. So this is quite a nice glow. Like I will not touch up, you know, this kind of makeup um, for my everyday. I really like this powder. I feel like everything is extremely smoothing. Like look at my under eyes, like this area where I have a Whereas it just looks very blurred out and pretty. So I'm actually very impressed with this powder. I plan on doing a full review on it. But yeah, you guys, this is it. Those were my quick thoughts. I'm gonna see you in my review. So as you saw, my makeup really held up very, very nice. I wore it for eight and a half hours and I got some oils on my T-zone, which I suspected, but at that point I would not, you know, I would not touch up my face. I don't really like to touch up my makeup. I loved it. I feel like 
it they control a little bit of the oils but not too much it's not extremely mattifying so if you're dry even though it says it's for oily skin i say try with cautious um you know but if you're oily you're gonna love it if you're a combination like me i think you'll love it uh and those are my thoughts about the new nars yes, powder as you can tell i absolutely adore this powder i think that it is one of the best pressed powders that i've tried in a while this is like the best of both worlds in my opinion for my combination skin i love it it is extremely softening and very blurring i love that it's safe for my acne uh, you know for my blemishes i love that it's a press form i love the packaging i love the price um i love that it's good for 24 months like everything about this powder I'm obsessed about can you tell like my makeup is looking good girl I love it let me know I know a lot of you got this powder you told me on Instagram have you tried it I do you like it any comments just let me know below a lot of you wanted to know my thoughts on the powder so here you go thank you friends for watching um, again just stand out below let me know what you think of the new NARS powder um, and yeah you guys I'm gonna catch you in my next one love you bye